everybody welcome back to another tuesday grilling video this one's going to be nice and simple we're just going to be making a beautiful filet on the blackstone griddle so what we're going to do here is we're going to do a little bit of garlic i'm going to show you how we toast the garlic on here and then steam it so it gets soft and you can almost spread it on the top of the steak with a little bit of butter it's a super way to top off your steak so let me go ahead and get that started i've got one burner on over here got it nice and high you can see and I'm doing that because I want to go ahead and sear the garlic right there and then I'm going to slide it over and we're going to steam it a bit. We're at, uh, heh, that's showing 500 degrees. That's probably too hot for sure, but we're at about 350 right over here, which is where we'll want to be. And the reason I'm doing this is I want to let these things just get beautifully uh, caramelized, if you will. All right, while we've got these going, I'm just going to go ahead and open up my filet here. Look how good those look. That's exactly what we want to see right there. I want these nice and toasty. Have a real high heat going for garlic. We want to keep them moving. What we don't want to do is scorch them. All right, now right as we have these things nice and toasted, we don't want to overdo it, but we want to get tender. So what I'm going to do is I got a domed lid, a nice small one, and I'm going to just squirt a little water on here. Close it up right in there. <laughs> Trying to run away on me. I might have put a little too much in there. Let's move those over just a tad. And that water evaporated quick, so... Now what that's going to do is it's going to steam that garlic and get it nice and tender. And that's what we want because we want to be able to just sort of take a fork and smoosh that in a little bit of butter. And that's what we're going to dress on the top of the steak when it's done. So for the steak, nice and simple. Cracked pepper and salt. That's all I'm doing on it. Cracked pepper on both sides. And we're going to season this a few times. I'm going to season it before we put it on. And then I'm going to season it midway through cooking as well. We've got our steak ready to go. I'm just gonna get some oil, nice and hot. And that's because I wanna get this really, really good caramelization on the outside of the steak. I think they call it like the Maillard effect or something like that, but it's that brown meat, that crispy meat that has a ton of flavor. And by searing it, we're gonna hold all those juices in while we let it cook. We probably only need three to four minutes on each side. That should be all it takes. The garlic smells phenomenal. I'm gonna add a little bit more of the oil here. Now I should add, you want to make sure your steak is dry when you do this. You do not want it to be really wet, um, because what happens then, and I'm wet with water, oil's okay, but when, you, when it's wet, what you're basically doing is steaming it. That steam is going to prevent that caramelization, that good seared flavor, so we definitely want to make sure we don't have that. So I put a little oil on the actual steak, and I've got a little bit down on the griddle itself. Let's see what we've got for a temperature over here. So we're at 425 degrees, which is great. That's going to help us with that quick sear. I'm actually going to turn it up a little bit higher. Oh, man, are those looking good. So good. Again, to help this steam, just going to go ahead and place a little bit of that water back there. Can you hear that sizzle? That's exactly what we want to hear. Now, when I make steak for Deb, she loves to have a little bit of grilled mushrooms with hers. I'm just going to go ahead and get these garlic. Let me see how they're... Not quite, but they're getting close to the way we want them. Let me zoom in and show you exactly what the bottom of that looks like. And when we do this, what we're looking for is this great caramelization on the bottom. And that's exactly what we want to see. Leave that for about another minute or so before we flip this guy over. That garlic, huh? All right, let's get this filet turned over here. 
As I mentioned before, I'm going to season this while it's on the griddle too. Nice, fresh kosher salt right on there and a little bit of pepper. By adding just a little bit of water into things like mushrooms, what you do is you tenderize them, you steam them a little bit. We still want to get that nice caramelization or that brown on the outside, so in a moment we will flip them all over and we'll put a little bit of the oil underneath it as well. That steak is close. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this trick. If you take your hand and you feel right there, this is a rare steak feeling. That, that amount of give is rare. If you put these fingers together, that's medium rare. That's medium. And if you put your ring finger to it, that's medium well. Your pinky's well done. You'll notice it's tougher as you do it. I'm looking for this right here, medium rare, and I'm pretty close to that. I'm going to go ahead and get these mushrooms turned around. They're close to being done. Matter of fact, I think I'm going to take advantage of my little domed lid here. I'm going to add just a little bit of oil. And then, and let those get nice and hot under there, and then I'm going to put a little water and steam them. This, I'm going to take some of this garlic. Look at that, it's just breaking apart. Beautiful. I'm going to put some of them right in this butter, and then the rest of them, and I'll set them on our tray where we're going to serve from. And normally, You'd probably let these cool down. They're going to melt the butter a little bit, but that's all right. Again, that, that garlic just smashes right into that. It's just a beautiful thing. What you're basically doing is making a garlic butter sauce to put on the steaks. And it's going to be phenomenal. What we're looking for is about 130 or so degrees. We're at 122 right there. 105. We're close. Let me go ahead and get this guy flipped over again, and we're going to season that other side. What am I going to do? I'm going to stand that right up on its end to get that caramelization on the side, too. Take a look at that garlic that will dress on top of this. That's just going to be lovely. We've got this steak ready to go. Let's go ahead and take that off. Look at that. Look how good that looks. Let's season this up just a little bit on this side. Take that guy off and set it right down on here. Here is what's going to make this steak. We're going to take a little bit of this garlic butter we just made. We're just going to let that sit right on there. Melt right on down off of that. That's the key a delicious steak. When you go to a steakhouse, you want to know what it is? That's it. That and let it rest. So we're going to let that rest probably about 15 minutes before we slice this up. And that's going to be the servings for the girls. I'm going to leave the garlic off just because I know uh, Chastity doesn't like it. We'll put it on just one side here. You might recall we were talking about these, uh, these mushrooms too. Look at that. Those are just delicious. Now we're going to steam these one last time before we take them off of the grill. And I like to steam them with a little bit of oil and a little bit of water. Add a little bit of that to it. I left my other spatula inside. It's a lot easier to do this with two spatulas. Those look wonderful. And that is what that filet looks like sliced up. Just perfect. Beautiful, medium, medium rare. Probably could have been a little bit more rare for the girls, but delicious for sure. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. A classic way to make a good flat top steak. Caramelized on the outside, a good medium rare inside, seasoned well with some garlic butter made right on top of it. Top it with mushrooms or onions, whatever you happen to like. Dead tends to like hers plain with mushrooms on the side. 
So we'll see you guys next Tuesday for another grilling video. Bye y'all. Safe grilling.